Hi guys, it's Carissa, and today I wanted to talk to you about some modern newborn must-haves. And I don't have a newborn, but in a few short weeks I will. And it's so hard to believe, but I have some items here that I felt I really wanted to make sure I had here and ready for when my little girl arrives. And a lot of this stuff might be the kind of thing that maybe your own mother would say, well, I didn't need that when I had you. But I think that that's sort of the point is that these are things that in our modern times are so helpful and exciting to have and that I think our mothers would agree that if they could have had them back then they would have wanted them. In fact that's something that I'm so curious about um, what kinds of things are around these days that they wish that they had had back when we were little. For example if I had to go just based off of stories my mother told me um, one of these products here would have been really helpful because it would have kept me out of a laundry basket. <laughs> the first thing I want to show you, I'm going to unbox for you, this is the Binksy Baby shopping cart hammock. And here's a little photo of it being used. And this is so handy because it keeps that big bulky car seat out of the way and gives you the opportunity to actually fill the cart as much as you need to and be able to see around it. Here is the Binksy Baby shopping cart hammock. So it has a couple of clips on either side and a little safety clasp and harness in the center. This is for zero to six months and look, even if you are a twin mom, you can put two of them in the cart and you can even keep them in their car seat and put the car seat in the hammock. So if they're sleeping, you don't wanna wake them up, you can just plop this right into the cart on top of the hammock and you can buckle the whole thing in there. It rolls up really small and it's machine washable. I constantly see these in a very telltale red cart um, <laughs> on their Instagram and I look forward to the day where I can walk around with my little girl in my Target shopping cart with my Binksy baby hammock. The next thing I have here is the Frida Baby Nail Frida. Now, I don't have the nose Frida yet, but I do insist on having one of those. Just over the last few years, I have heard how wonderful it is to have that, and I feel like it's not negotiable. We need one in our lives. So I will be picking one of those up. But this seemed like it's been getting a lot of rave reviews recently. Um, and I think this is a slightly newer product. This is the Nail Frida, which is a nail clipper, and it's designed a little differently than most nail trimmers because it has a little safety hole, as you can see from the diagram there, so you can really see what you're inserting into the clipper. It does come with a little nail file, but um, the nail clipper is really the star of the show here. And I have heard from a lot of women who have used this versus other nail trimmers on the market that this just works best all around. I've even heard that some of them just don't snip very well and you have to work so hard just to get the, the nail trimmers to trim. So it's so nice because you have that visibility on the top there and you can feel just the littlest bit better about um, doing something that's not very pleasant for you or for your little one, at least in most cases I would expect. The blade is also curved, as you can see from the front here, it almost looks like there's something wrong with it. But really that is just how it is designed to close, almost like a scissor motion. I suppose I should also pick up a Windy, which is a Frida Baby product that is supposed to help relieve trapped gas. My sister used it and raved about it, and I've since heard so many great things. So this next thing I'm going to unbox for you, and it is such a thrilling addition to all of the baby gear that we have been slowly accumulating over the last few weeks. Um, this is something that I'm really looking forward to and I think that if my mother had it, she probably wouldn't have had to stick me in a laundry basket every now and then. <laughs> this is the Docatot and this has been long coveted in my household after seeing it quite a bit on Instagram. Here is the Docatot. This is a baby lounging pod and they are made in two sizes or two stages. I do have stage one here, which is for zero to eight months. And as you can see, it does come in this plastic case that is reusable. So if you want to travel with this and not get it dirty and just have it be a little bit easier to carry because it has a handle, 
you can use this, which it comes with. However, they do now sell actual travel bags for these, which look really nice. I did select what I believe is called the Dreamweaver pattern, but there are all different covers and cases, and they come out with limited edition ones that sell out really quickly. So um, if you keep an eye out and you say you follow their Instagram, for example, you'll see when they have something new pop up. But this is going to be so handy in our home. This is a dedicated sleeping and lounging pod for your little one where you can dock your tot. And you can use it for tummy time. Um, what I think is the most important thing for us is that I liked the idea of something that was very portable and could be brought upstairs, downstairs, to grandma's house, um, away on vacations. And it's a familiar, consistent place for your little one to sleep. It has a cushioned bottom. It does have cardboard in it right now that you are supposed to remove. But it's nice and sturdy, but it's just soft enough. But it has the nice deep sides like this. And a lot of people have said that they think that this sort of mimics the cradling that a baby felt in the womb. It just feels like a nice, consistent, safe space that you could easily take with you and, um, and provide for baby. I do have a boppy lounger which I'm looking forward to using mainly during feeding time and like visit time with um, family and friends and people come over and that I think will serve me really well but this will be something that she can grow into and then there is also the dock atop grand which is even larger and that is even good for transitioning into a big kid bed. Um, you don't want to put this in a crib or anything like that but when you a transition out of a crib into a, a toddler bed, you can put the Dock Attack Grand in and it will help your little one feel secure and not shock themselves awake feeling like they're going to fall out of bed. This is also something that can be used for co-sleeping, which we don't plan to do at this time, but that is an option as long as you make sure that you don't use one blanket and um, cover the entire thing. You and your partner, if you are using this between the two of you, would want to put this way up by your pillows so that the baby is at a higher level than the rest of your bodies. And you want to use separate blankets so that you don't pull one over the top of the dock tot. I don't feel comfortable with co-sleeping um, just because I am such a hard sleeper and I don't notice my surroundings when I am sleeping and I think I wouldn't get any actual quality sleep to take care of my little one the next day if she were in bed with us. But that is an option if that's something that you plan to do in your household. And the last thing I have here is the Babies Eat Sleep and Poop Journal. And I know there are some people who would prefer to go digital with this information and have an app or there would be some people who would like to do both and have that on them at all times um, and have information maybe they could swap back and forth with their partner. But I think this is great because it's a nice consistent analog system. You always have it there. And if someone who doesn't happen to normally watch your baby is there um, or someone who doesn't have the app or have the smartphone or know how to use it or any of that, you, they can just consult this and write things down and continue to give you the information that you feel you need. I like it because you can put um, emergency numbers, contacts for doctors. Um, there is a section where you can write down whenever the baby has been sick. And yes, you could get just any old spiral bound notepad and write these things down yourself. But I think for me, I really prefer to have these pre-designated spots where I can just plug in the information and have a consistent set of data to look at every time I wanna know how things have been going. So it gives you a date and a time slot, um, slots for breastfeeding, how many ounces were taken if it was a bottle, sleep time, wake time, wet and poop. On the back of each page, so on the opposite side of the information sheet, it's blank. So you can put any notes in there that you feel are important for the mom or dad to have if you are there watching the baby or if it's something that you want to make note of um, just for a brief period of time that's separate from the other information here. If you need to leave a note for your spouse. And after really thinking about it, I just felt like this was a system that would be best for us. That could change in the future or I could decide that I would rather use something different. But for now, we are gonna give this system a try. So that is my list of some modern products that weren't really around when we were babies, but that I think will be very helpful going forward for our little ones. If there's anything that you would add to that list, I would love to hear what it is below um, because I am in the final stages of preparing our home and our lives for our little one to arrive and I need all the help I can get. 
But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.